Welcome back, this is John Locke, and today I'm talking about a Twitter thread that I saw the other day. Got me thinking about keyword cannibalization. I know this is uh, a big thing that a lot of SEO people preach, uh, that if, if you cannibalize your keywords and you're not gonna rank. Um, but somebody was talking about this, Michael Martinez of seotheory.com, and I'll, I'll link him below. Uh, as well and he's been in internet marketing since uh, before I even moved here to Sacramento which is like 20 years ago uh, he's been in internet marketing for uh, since the mid 90s and what he was saying <clears throat> which I found very interesting is he was saying keyword cannibalization is basically BS he's saying uh, a lot of SEO gurus a lot of SEO experts will preach uh, that keyword cannibalization is a thing and that you should watch out for it and make sure that you're not cannibalizing all your keywords. So if you're targeting the same keyword on different pages on your site, um, then you won't rank. And I think a lot of times what this refers to is a very broad match uh, keyword. So not like a long tail, but more a short tail keyword because I think that's how people hear it. When people talk about keyword cannibalization, they're not talking about long tail. Uh, keywords like how to fix a you know carburetor in this type of car but they're just thinking like uh, carburetor you know for this type of car and if you write about it like more than once then it's then you're not going to rank for any of it because google won't know what to rank the fact of the matter is and i agree with what michael says if uh you're matching the searcher intent the actual searcher intent uh, of that phrase, what Google has, has figured out uh, that the majority of the people want to find when they Google that uh, search phrase, then you, you can definitely hit it with more than once. And I'll give you an example of, of something right now, right now, right today, I'm doing an SEO audit uh, for a new client. And one of the keywords that they put in their um, list that I'm looking at, a competitor is targeting that keyword. Now I think, and, and, and I do believe that this client uh, believes that this is a sales page keyword, like an e-commerce keyword. They're going to sell something uh, with this keyword. But interestingly enough, this keyword turns out one of the competitors or a one site, they have two articles, two different articles that have that keyword in the title. Uh, that match the searcher intent of that keyword, which I'm looking at, which surprised even me. It's actually, uh, the, the intention of this keyword is instructional, uh, like how to use a tutorial. Here's like, you know, everything you need to do and not like a sales page. But one competitor has both the one and the two position for the same keyword. Um, and it's two different articles. But when I look at it, it matches the same search for intent. So, you know, it, it goes to show, it depends on what you're talking about, keyword cannibalization. Are you talking about a long tail keyword? Like a super long, specific uh, long tail keyword? Or are you talking about a broad match? Because if you're talking about a broad match, then I agree with what Michael is saying, that keyword cannibalization is bogus. Uh, I'll give you another example. I have a client on my roster right now uh, and they have several uh, keywords. They have several results, I should say, for the same keyword. Now it's more of like a, a kind of a medium tail keyword. It's, it's, I think it's like a three, three word phrase. But this three word phrase, they've already got like two uh, results right now in the top 10 for that. Uh, so it, it's telling me that, that keyword cannibalization only is a thing if you're targeting like um, very super, super specific phrases, you know, like six, seven, eight word key, key word phrases. But if you're just talking like one, one word, two word, three word uh, phrases, then keyword cannibalization is not a thing. I know I had a friend ask about this very recently, talking about software development, and they were worried about keyword cannibalization because they wanted to rank for this, you know, phrase. Uh, but you know, I, and I told that person then, you know, if you make each, um, article, 
uh, that you're writing about about a specific thing, solving a very specific problem with that software, then keyword cannibalization is not going to be a thing. Um, so keep that in mind. When people talk about keyword cannibalization, really do keep it in mind that if you're talking like, you know, a shorter tail, um, more broad match keywords, keyword cannibalization is probably not even a thing that comes up. Because look at the actual search results and you will see that Google actually has a pattern uh, it, and it determines like, hey, the, the majority of the people are actually looking for this. When they're Googling this, they want to complete this action or get this information. And that's really what you need to pay attention to. Uh, my name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. I'm here publishing videos every single day, uh, SEO for industrial and manufacturing companies. And uh, I would love to see you subscribe. That's all I've got for this video. Until next time, peace.